Okay, we are on our way to Palm Springs and we just picked up our favorite burger in Riverside. So we're at Monty's Good Burger. And the if you guys have never, okay the yeah, the wind is blowing out here. Yeah. So we're having a little tailgate lunch and if you guys have ever never been to Monty's, let us get it out real quick. Here's Delaney's. I got a salad. Delaney gets the salad. With a patty. With a patty. Look how good Cheese that is. And onions. So Look good. Look milkshake. This is my got. milkshake. Neapolitan. Unreal. We got the fries on there or something. Yeah. And this is like, did you already say it's like In and Out? Yeah, so this is like vegan In and Out right here. Animal fries. Oh no, no it's a burger. That's it's my burger. double burger. Yum. Bulking season. It's still here. And let's see here. This is the animal fries. Okay. Check this out. Look at that. Yes. Let's go. I need to try your milkshake. We're <laughs> pitch black. Oh my gosh. Delectable. Cool. That is cool. That's a really sick shirt. How big is that? Whoa, that's so pretty. Those ones are cool. These That's how you think it is. Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna try. They have so much, so much suit stuff here. I know. This is like really Lots vintage. Of suits. Stuff. Yeah. It's like very, very well Very curated. 60s, 70s suits. What was that place called? Tonic? Iconic Atomic. Uh, Iconic Atomic. Yeah. So we just left our first thrift store. We have never thrifted out here in Palm Springs, so no. I feel like it's a bit of a. We're just whatever. learning the spots. Yeah. And this one was recommended to us by a friend. And it was really cool. Super cool, but very 60s, 70s, and a certain type of attire. Well, it was like really curated too. Like you didn't have to search yeah, through anything. It wasn't, yeah. And that's why it's more expensive, I think, is because they literally right. like curated amazing pieces yeah. that were super cool. But yeah. that's like, we've actually never really like thrifted like that. Yep. We just usually get like, Random t-shirts. Yeah. And we find like good finds sometimes that are like maybe 50, 60 bucks. But some of the things in there were like 200 bucks. Over 100, yeah. Yeah. 200. So. But they were really cool. Really cool. We tried cool. on a couple of things actually and I would have been down to get like a couple of those shirts or whatever, but I don't know if like guys just weren't Born as built long like you. Then? I don't know. I think they yeah. were just small. I think they were just a size. Or small. maybe it's just harder to find like the larger sizes. Yeah, oversized. Well, that place is so, uh, like you said, uh, what do you call it, uh, curated? Yeah. That like, I don't know if they're even like stocking like very big stuff. Mm -hmm. I saw like some big pants, but I didn't see any big like shirts. Mm -hmm. The big shirts might like go quick too. Yeah, true. I know. They were all. It's really hot really, outside though. Yeah, it's I'm, like, super hot. It's really sleepy. Yep. So we're gonna go. We're gonna go hit one more real quick, and then go get to the Airbnb and get the pool. Yeah, this one we were just driving by and... Yeah, it looks really good. It said vintage on it said the vintage. side. It's like not in the downtown part. It's right kind of outside. Removed, so I feel like yeah. maybe it will be better because it's not like all like hyped up. Yup, yup. Yup, yup. I don't like when people say yup, like with a U. Oh, you don't like yup? No. Okay, I won't use it anymore. What about yap? Nobody says that. Yap? By yap. No, but like yup is like oh. a, it reminds me of like a certain kind of guy. Yeah, I don't use it that often. <laughs> Alright, let's go see if we have better luck. Stop number two. Alright, here's stop number two. I don't know the name of this one, but I'll look it up and put it right here for you guys. Just on the way into town. Got a nice selection of vintage shorts. Ooh, those are cool. These. I actually think these are too small. No, they stretch. Okay. You want to try them? Yeah, for sure. Maybe you can wear these in Florida. Yeah, those are sick. Yeah. Now we're at a store that's more like us. Well, Got a lot of t-shirts. Some Harleys. Nice, really nice feeling Harleys. Some nice denim jackets. Oh, that's a cute skirt. I just like, I don't really wear skirts like that, but no. I love the design. That is really cool design. Oh, that's sick. 
Perfect. All right, that went way so much better. Yeah. My bangs are like sticky. Why are they sticky? I don't know. Maybe like my makeup got in them from the wind or something. I don't know. It's kind of hard. Your bangs? Mm-hmm. They're just like going everywhere. Over my face. Sticking everywhere? Yeah. Oh, well, that was so much better. That was more of our style. Well, they were both cool. That one was cool. a little bit like that, too. It was like much older Way stuff cute. than we're used to thrifting, yeah. I would say. Way older. Like 60s, 50s, 70s, yeah. 80s. Those were like 90s that we got. But we, can you turn the heat on? 80s, yeah. I mean, the air. 80s, 90s. But the stuff that we normally thrift is like, like late 90s. 2000s. Graphic tees. 2000s. I also love just like supporting a small yeah that was a cool one like local business like when you come somewhere if there's like little restaurants you can support or yeah. shops or whatever i always feel good it's a good way to do it to do that instead of like yeah. eating at a chain or something agreed so that place was called melody note vintage mm -hmm. it's right when you get into right when you get into uh town really we're at an angle sorry we're on a we're on a slope here but yeah so that was good solid finds y'all yeah. Okay, now we're going to go to the Airbnb. It's time to get in the pool. Good morning. Today, we're golfing. Me, Clayton, and Drew. We're having a <laughs> epic Monday morning. Golfing in Palm Springs. When's the last time I golfed? Mm, over a year ago. 2018? Summer of almost two years ago. So, who knows if I can even hit the ball, but... We're gonna have fun. Also, you guys haven't former, formally met Drew yet, I don't think, but this is Molly's husband-to-be. Happy to be. You guys are in love with Molly, so you're gonna be in love with Drew too, because he's the nicest human ever. And we're celebrating his birthday. Yeah, happy birthday, Drew. Thank so, you. Yeah, that's what we want today. Oh, that's perfect. Okay. Good start. Can I do a practice swing? Yeah, do a practice swing. Do I put my hands like down here? Yeah, a little bit higher. It's a little long for you. Okay, let's do a practice swing. Okay. That's pretty good. Okay. Maybe take one more practice swing, really focus, keep the head down. Keep the head down. Yeah, watch the ball. Yep. Watch the ball. Watch it all the way through. Oh. Watch the ball. Like, watch it. Watch the ground. The whole time? Yeah. There you go. And then once you feel, once the contact, then Look. Okay. Like this? Yep. Perfect. Doesn't get much better than that. I don't play. Is that okay? Perfect. That's beautiful. Okay. Now grab your tea. Okay. Nice start. That'll play. Oh. Alright, Delaney just nailed like a 15 foot putt. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> So I need to just nail the, like a 15 foot putt. We missed it, we didn't vlog it. But it was epic. Nice shot, babe. That was, you know, we're good for this. Highlight of the day. <laughs> Delaney Childs from the fourth tee. Hey, your head, you were, what? You looking for aliens? Yeah. One more, come on, you got it, you got it. You got it, you can do it. Just watch the ball, watch it make contact. Don't swing so hard. Yeah, look at that. That sounds like nothing. Very nice. Okay, update. Clayton and Drew are really good coaches. They're helping me out. Getting better. Getting a lot better. But I am playing with their clubs. Yeah, you're so playing men's size clubs, so they're really six big. foot three men clubs. So it's a little They're big. It's a little weird. But we're having fun. So let's see what let's see what we can do here. Hit it straight. Delaney's queen of the straight. Queen of the straight shot. Strange work. <laughs> straight and on the ground. It'll get you there though. <laughs> it will. Eventually. Just parked under this tree and there's literally so many squirrels. They just all ran into their home. So, not sure if they're gonna come out, but like we're chilling. Me and the squirrels are chilling. We're having a moment. This is like Discovery Channel ASMR. 
they're a little small. Little and small is the same word. Expand your vocabulary, ma'am. They are little grayish brown squirrels. Really cute. I almost hit one on accident. I felt really bad. And they're running up and down the street. And then we pulled over because I needed some shade because it's 90 degrees out right now. And then they all ran into the hole. And that's it for today's episode of um, Animal Planet ASMR. All right, we didn't film the tea shop, but Delaney, the tea box is right there, and Delaney made it over the ravine. With like a- And look at her ball. It, it bounced it off- It bounced like, off the bridge right there. And then it bounced off like three more things in the ravine and then popped up here. And it was, got all the way to here. Look at that. It was not skilled, it was extremely lucky. I don't know, that's pretty much skill. Oh yeah, I did that on purpose. Yeah. I our workout earlier today I just got ready for shooting and filming I'm actually gonna film my closet tour later today so I'm excited to share that with you guys um, and we actually just put our sheets on our bed because we're back home from Palm Springs now and you know it just feels so good to have like your bedding all fresh and ready when you're back home so I'm gonna take you guys into the bedroom and I'm gonna share some little decor updates as you guys know we've been adding like pops of color and just been kind of obsessed with updating things in our house lately so I'm gonna share some bedroom updates and uh, some bedding details that I know you guys have been asking about on Instagram so excited to share all of this Okay, before we share some updates, we're just gonna dust a little bit because I talked about this before on the vlog, but like the dust is the dust is out of control. Next level. Like, is everyone else's room this dusty, or is there like where does it come something from? wrong with us? Dust comes from the human body. I'm pretty sure. Well, then I'm a dusty person. <laughs> and like our our uh, sliders open a lot, and our windows open a lot here, but I don't know. This is the dust though is like it's very it's not like, fine. It's not like yeah, but it's not that like outdoor dust. Skin, it seems like it seems like no, like feathered, like it's all like little white stuff. I, I don't, don't know. know. <laughs> is there a dust expert out there? <laughs> okay, so as you guys have seen on Instagram and been asking about, we actually changed out our sheets to this baby pink set, which is a super cute, happy color. And we are partnering with Brooklinen on today's video. They are our go-to for bedding and sheets and towels. They're on both of our beds in our house, the guest room and our room. So they have been our go-to ever since we tried them out. We have them in both the beds in our house because they are that good. Both of our comforters are also from them and we are obsessed. Clayton has a yeah, little feature. I love, so this is our new, it's a, what is it, linen? Yes, it's we got a, a linen. Linen duvet cover, so it's super nice. It's perfect for summer and spring. But also on this cover, they put the buttons like on the bottom. Like on the back side. Yeah, so it literally doesn't end. show at all. So then the buttons never show. Yeah, so this new this new linen one has the buttons on the underside. Our previous one had them on the end, so they're it's kind of visible. But it's really nice feature to have it like on the back side. Yeah, we've never um, seen that before, so appreciate that little really nice detail. detail. And then we're actually loving the linen material. Like Clayton said, it's really nice for summer and spring. So it adds a little bit of texture to the bed. I don't know if you guys can tell here, but this duvet cover is the Luxe Satin, which is the same as the sheets. They're really like buttery soft and I get super hot at night. So these are kind of cooling. They're super comfy, but then the linen on top just adds a little extra layer and texture and they look super good together. Can we call this bed the strawberry cheesecake? <laughs> it's like a little strawberry cheesecake. Yes. So our bedding, if I didn't already tell you guys, the bulk of the comforters and our previous sheet set were all in the shade cream. And then this 
sheet set is called rose i believe like the baby pink which is so cute and we also are hooked on their towels now so actually julia who i'm sure you guys watch hunter and julia she got us hooked on their towels so these are their super plush towels and they're super thick and soft they're and super plush yeah <laughs> small like that is the best description for them because they're seriously like I haven't quite felt a towel this like thick. And yeah, it's just it's nice. plush. It's yeah. super plush. So these are really good. They're really durable as well. They wash well mm -hmm. and you can use them a ton. So hooked on these now too. So all of our bedding and bath is yeah, now Brooklyn. from Brooklyn. And even our duvet inserts are actually Brooklyn as from well. Brooklyn. Yeah. So yeah. we love them and they're actually having a sale for their birthday. So happy birthday to Brooklyn. Yeah, so the, the <laughs> sale's running from uh, April 27th through May 5th, 20% off all Brooklyn and products. So this is like the biggest sale of the year. So best time to get out there and get your- Yeah, uh, so your if you stuff. guys need bedding or towels, highly recommend them, we love them. And any guests that we've ever had sleep in our guest bed yeah. also confirm that it's super comfy. So we will link everything in the description box for you guys. Yep. You can shop it all there, take advantage of this sale and happy sleeping and showering. Seriously, sleep well. <laughs> So for decor updates in our bedroom, like we said, we're adding little pops of color everywhere, like in our wardrobe and our home decor. That's why we updated the pink sheets. And it's kind of like, it's really trendy right now to have little pops of color with pastels and stuff. So that's kind of what we're leaning into. I thrifted this vintage, like kind of little dish that I put some jewelry in on my bedside table. And then we also picked up some kind of like pastel artwork. There's one on Clayton's side as well. And we're planning on taking these down and replacing with some other artwork. We're actually probably not gonna put these pictures in here. We just put them there to see like what a little bit of color would look like. And then I'm just gonna update this maybe with a different lamp and get some like pastel books or little accessories like this. And then for the bedding, we actually kind of were leaning more into that like minimal bedding decor. So right now we don't have any like throw pillows or any throw blankets. Kind of just want it to be like a really comfy, cozy, layered little cloud with a pop of color. That's what we're going for right now. But if you guys don't already know, I am obsessed with change. So nothing in my life is usually permanent. So we'll see where the decor lands and stays for a little while but for right now we are loving these little pops of color and things like that and then over here on our little bench we are going to update the cushion to something that's actually a little bit darker because it was just stark white before and then here are here is a compilation of pillows that we used to have on our bed but we're gonna have to update this to maybe get some pops of color in there and then for the dresser decor this is kind of like a hard area for me to decorate i've never been that good at it i mean i feel like having a tv makes it harder we have the frame tv so we can put whatever art we want on here so maybe we'll do something a little more colorful or pastel but i feel like a dresser decor is prettiest when you have like a mirror right here which is obviously not possible with our situation, but we decided watching Bravo and Sports Center was worth it. But just want to update like this little area, like get some different books, maybe like a tray, candles. Here's our perfume tray. Just like little things, maybe put some plants up here. I will put some info pictures from Pinterest on things that we're thinking about for the bedroom. But basically for right now, we're just having fun with like little pops of color and little updates here and there and yeah that's kind of all we have planned for the bedroom at this time but you never know what we're gonna get up to okay i'm gonna go uh, fix a little lunch right now i'm gonna make one of our uh, staple lunches it's our favorite salad it's that i think we've showed it to you guys before it's like that, that kind of greek uh salad with the olives and the heart of palms and the butter lettuce and fried tofu so i'm gonna fix that up real quick and uh get some lunch Okay, we love the butter lettuce for salads, but I gotta do a thorough check and wash of all lettuce that we get because if I don't, 
Delaney will kill me if a bug ends up in the salad and she'll never have it again. So I always do a little extra check, check each leaf and then wash them all and dry them out. I gotta make sure my butter lettuce is so good for salads because it's super crisp and it's just uh, really like kind of leafy and not too thick, like a romaine or something. So really nice for salad, highly recommend it. Okay, so these are the heart of palms we get. Just come in a little jar and some water, kind of like the same way olives do. And as far as I know, these are literally heart of a palm tree. Really good. And then for the olives, I always get pitted uh, green olives, I call them, but they're actually called Castel Vitrano olives. I just call them green olives. I always get them pitted though, because especially for salads, you don't have to take the pits out. Pitted olives are good for when you're just munching on them, but pitted for salads. All right, I'm putting together the salads, but today during our workout, Delaney decided to tell me that I smell like cheese. So I'd like for you to clarify what exactly this cheese smell is. Babe. And also if I still smell like cheese. I don't think so after you shower. Do I still smell like cheese to you? No, you smell good. No longer gonna smell like cheese. I love that. I don't know what it is. I think I've developed a BO during quarantine. I, I didn't mean it in a mean way. I just like, it was the truth and the truth just comes out. I mean, I think there's worse things to smell like than cheese. Yeah. I smell cheese every time I walk by you, so I was just like, you smell like cheese. It's kind of weird. It was just a treat. It was weird. It is weird. So I gotta work on my BO. Cheese vibes. I'm hungry. These are just about I didn't eat breakfast. I know you didn't, huh? Mm -mm. Okay, so here's almost the finished product here. Got the grilled tofu on top. I picked up this new seasoning from the store. It's Primal Kitchen. I've seen it a lot on Instagram, but never tried it. And this is their Greek vinaigrette fitting for the salad. It smells really good. Okay, I'm gonna drizzle this on here. And then we always top this salad off with the Follow Your Heart vegan Parmesan. And voila, lunch is served. What's your what's your dressing oh. review? Mm-hmm. Really good? Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. A quick one. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That must mean it's good. What's the other one we put on this? Lemon garlic by By Follow Your Heart. Mm-hmm. Also good? Me like you. Mm. Oregano? A lot of oregano in there. Mm-hmm. Remember when you <laughs> Oh my gosh, should we plug that? <laughs> you jumped on the floor. That was terrible. That wasn't even supposed to be a joke either. You just took it pure and you're not supposed to do that. I took pure oregano oil like, and almost freaking. His mouth was out. literally like, He was standing up and then he jumped to the floor on his stomach. That was terrible. <laughs> Am I evil for laughing? No. <laughs> you were laughing too. I was laughing. <laughs> Nothing like the cinnamon challenge. You've never eaten like a really spicy pepper. I don't want to do that. <laughs> That's one thing I don't want to do. Hmm? That's one thing I don't want to do. Mm -hmm. Well, I had a thought last night mm -hmm. that I like golf more than surfing. Mm -hmm. And. <clears throat> Golfing, there's not a chance for me to die. Yeah. So I was like, damn, like I, maybe I should just be golfing. Mm, love that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm down with that. It's gonna take more time out of my days mm. when I do it. Mm -hmm. But I won't die. You can go to the driving range. Yeah, There's I could do those, but then like, a, the yeah, I could go to the driving range for like 40 minutes, an hour. Mm -hmm. But like when I want to play. I know. <clears throat> yeah, it's kind of like a. But if I go up early in the morning, you know. You have a lot of free time. If I go at like six, though. 
Come on. Sorry. You won't be done to like 10. No, but it'll only be 10. And if you like to play too, we can go mm -hmm. have a little time off, you know? Mm -hmm. But yeah, so that's why I like this morning when you, you, we weren't going surfing. I like, you know, like, okay. yeah. like, I think I'll still surf from time to time, but I don't think yeah. I'll go like, like, I'm not going to try to make like a weekly, even like weekly thing out of it, you know? Mm -hmm. I think I'd rather just like not die. Or like get hurt. Mm -hmm. Can't really get hurt golfing. Maybe like pull a muscle or something. Mm -hmm. But not like fucking smack my head on my surfboard. Or if you golf all beer. You'd be, my, you'd be my caddy. Oh. <laughs> competitor. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Once we get you girls clubs, you might be. I think we should take some lessons. Mm -hmm. But I think a lesson would do wonders for you. Because I don't know really how to te tell you, like, oh, you need to do this with your swing. Like, right. Or, like, focus on this exactly. Like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I can give you those basic, you know, head on the ball. Mm -hmm. My mom said there's a really good book about the spirituality of golf. Really? Mm -hmm. That's cool. Mm -hmm. How you can, like, use the skills of golf, like, in life. Really? Mm-hmm. You should read it. That's cool. Maybe you would finish it. Maybe that'd be one I finish. Okay, we actually got our bench in from the upholster today, too. So we're just gonna put that on the window seat. He does an amazing job. Just a little local small business. We went with, like, a... Like a taupey kind of like khaki material and it has a little bit of like texture you guys can see and this cushion was just here when we moved so i'm not sure the details just on foam. how just it's really nice and thick though it's like he added, he added more. oh more. he did he said it was so flimsy oh my gosh he is a real one he's amazing Andre's right. custom upholstery. We love you. <gasps> Cute. That looks really good. I love it. I feel like it's hard to tell in the vlog, but it brings out um, the floor really nicely. Yeah, it, does. it looks way better than when it was just white. That looks so good. Look how high that is. It's like amazing. Andre. Yeah, he added. He definitely added something. Yeah. That. Wow. Oh, that's going to be so comfy. That's cute. How comfy is that? Well, someone could sleep here. You. Yeah. You and me. <laughs> really nice. nice. He did a beautiful job. I like the color. He's so good. Yeah, I think the color's great. And you know what's cool? <coughs> if you're ever over it, take it back to Andres. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. he's so easy and yeah. we know where to get fabric. And... No, it looks so cute. I love it. I love that it pulls out the um, floor. It does. Yeah. yeah, it looks way better than just the white did. Okay, I don't want those pillows. These ones? Yeah. Okay. We'll donate them. Cute. Oh my god, that's cozy. Looks cute, huh? That looks so good. Yeah. The color is so much better than when it was just yeah. white. It looks good with the blinds. And it's warmer. Like, yeah, it's a little like cozier. And the texture. Like we it yeah. wasn't textured at all before. No. It's pretty durable, I bet. Like Yay! I'm oh, ready for the freaking win, man. And then the bench is just perfection. So we had this bench and it was gray, and I kind of just always dreamed about it being like teddy like cozy material but obviously was not prepared to do that ourselves like we don't know how to do that so okay. andre really made the he made the dreams come true guys like that is the cutest bench i've ever seen mm -hmm. it's so perfect like look at this this is craftsmanship if i've ever seen oh my god there's a bug on it though that's not chill don't squish it because it's white don't stain it. Oh my god, what is that thing? 